G'day guys, Jeff here, and we've got Homefront. So I just uh, bought it. Thankfully, work is slowing down just a little bit, so I uh, managed to get out there, buy a game, and put it in. Um, I wanted to cover a few things. You may have seen by the intro there, it said single player. Um, so I'm going to go through a few items that I do. One, uh, right now, visibility, uh, also you know, to do with uh, gamma or, or whatever. Uh, very important in games like Battlefield, but I actually end up choosing um, one that allows me to see a little bit more light than uh, going to the dark side. So you might see, you might wash out some of the colours, but you end up getting a better. Uh, I, I guess uh, I feel that I can see uh, the enemy targets easier once I learn the map sprites and whatnot. Uh, normal controls here for the stick layout. Um, and yeah, it's just default is what I will generally use. I'm hoping that they have the Call of Duty button layout, but uh, for the when you push, no, they don't. Jesus. All right, so right thumbstick is melee only. Uh, it's a shame. It would be good if it's crouched because I'd like a uh, fucking. I wish I had button remapping. So uh, make sure you <laughs> petition ask a capper or, or sign ask a capper's petition because. Um, Button remapping, jeez, it'd be nice to have. Sensitivity, before I even play a game, I usually chuck it up to the higher parts just to see what it's like and dial it down from there. I'll keep everything the same for now in terms of inversion. Invert air vehicle I might have to do depending if they've got the epoxy controls. I prefer down for up. Um, so aim assist, with this, uh, I'll get it back into it later in the game, but um, try aim assist on and if it's just retardedly too good, then take it off. And actually, I prefer having it off completely because then in multiplayer, the aim assist is generally not as strong as the single player version or the campaigns. And uh, you end up having to um, turn, it, turn it off in a single player to make it translate to the multiplayer. And that's what it's all about, playing a single player to get better at multiplayer. Just having a look at a few of the things you can download here. And this is disturbing. So by spending 800 points, you can earn XP and you get maximum rank. You gain access to weapons. Jeez, uh, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. So I'm going to take you through the first level or two of Homefront. And uh, the reason that I play... Oh, it's a little very clean. What the fuck? You need to listen to what she has to say, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, so I um, I always play the single player of one or two levels just to get used to the weapons, uh, to get used to the uh, look sensitivity because you look at like Call of Duty versus um, say Battlefield or Medal of Honor and whatnot, and it ends up being uh, completely different. So I try to work out what settings uh, work best for me in the game, get used to any of the button differences as I showed you previously. There's some uh, button differences to Call of Duty. It's a shame that they don't have uh, right thumbstick prone uh, or crouch, but uh, you know, so be it. So you know, beat a crouch, and then when you go back to Black Ops or you know, Call of Duty, you end up uh, if you don't use that layout, it's obviously a pain in the ass. So Homefront, as you can see, is about uh, Korea becoming uh, unified. I doubt that's ever going to happen, and then uh, they. Um, basically spread out and uh, end up invading US soil. <laughs> so yeah, get, playing single player first, you, um, as I said, you get used to the controls, but at the same time I think it gives you an advantage in multiplayer in not having uh, negative KDs at the start while everyone else who knows the maps you know, the guns or uh, you know, even gun pickup points if you're looking at other things like Halo and whatnot and you know, you end up uh, you end up having to be on the back foot when you play those multiplayer matches. And that's my opinion. Leave a comment if you feel differently. Uh, I still haven't actually played through the Black Ops campaign. Uh, it's probably only 70% of the way through it. But uh, I'll, I'll get through it at some point. I may actually uh, watch this, so I apologise. I won't skip it just yet. Let 
video footage seems interesting so far, and obviously the story about uh, you know a huge communist type invasion on U.S. soil. Uh, you know that's obviously been uh, pushed throughout U.S. history. Like the commies are coming, and do you know any Reds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, um, the likelihood of them getting here, which is how big the U.S. Army is and uh, the Navy and Air Force, is unheard of. But we'll see. Woody made mention of the graphics not being as uh, good as Call of Duty, but as you know, right now looking around, uh, you know, some of the elements are okay. They're they got artifacts to them, so as I move, you can see some uh, artifacts to them. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not as Call of Duty pretty, but you know, whatever. We'll uh, go up to the door and answer it. like that guy on the left who just hit me. If I had a do-over, I'd probably punch him in the head. <laughs> now that would be great when games get to that point where they're based on uh, uh, thought control or uh, unlimited decision. But uh, those, those sort of games, even though there's been a few like that, they're still a long way off from the ability to do anything you want and completely change the storyline um, and have a million different storylines. I mean, yeah, you got Grand Theft Auto and things like that, but it, you still end up going along a scripted storyline when you do uh, those sort of missions, so... Not like that, but. And then there was uh, heavy rain, but again, uh, there wasn't, you know, there were story permutations, but it still ended up going down the same path, the same overall story. So it's been a couple of good minutes and I still haven't fucking got to do anything apart from walk up to a door. But I guess that's setting up the uh, backstory. So what I might do uh, because of that, depending on uh, how you guys uh, receive the video and perhaps if you want to see a little bit more. Um, I'll break, I'll break them down into smaller videos, there's no point having you sit through a fucking massive long video just to see what Homefront's all about. So right now you'll see an annotation on the screen, uh, click this to go to the next video and hopefully we'll get some action. Otherwise, uh, stay here and we'll continue the story. Did you hear the voice of Freedom's broadcast last night? He says this shit's happening all over the state. Every time the resistance gains some ground, the KPA comes down on the rest of us. More fuel for the labor camps. I'm never going to see most of it. 